How will we know the shipping charges from China to Europe? Actually, we have the calculator for you. You can just uh, go to our website and go to our system and check the different prices from our China warehouse to different countries. And second one, you can directly uh, contact with our fulfillment advisor. We already covered the 97% of the countries in the world. Do you have integration for a customized e-commerce? I mean, it's uh, my own e-commerce. We have the perfect integration with Shopify because this is our first step. But if you have your own e-commerce platform or you have your own website, we will present our open API for you and you can just integrate with our open API for the integration, like the order integration and the price integration. So that's okay. Yeah, this year we're gonna integrate with more platforms like WooCommerce and uh, other platforms. How do you handle return and exchanges for uh -huh. like, um, customers and for example, Southeast Asia? Uh -huh. And how do you handle like last mile pickup services from uh -huh. customers? First question is how we handle the return packages. Yeah. And that's where that's where decide which, which warehouse you are sending your products. For example, if you send your products from our US warehouse for the return order, you can just return order from US to our US warehouse. And our warehouse will charge you for the return fees and the re re list to our ships. So that's okay. And second one, uh, our pickup service right now is only within the China. If your products are in China, and then we can just help, we can just provide the pickup service for you. But uh, for Malaysia yeah. and Singapore, I'm, I'm sorry, unfortunately, we, we don't have the pickup service for now. Um, so just curious, as a as a seller, mm -hmm. if, if is there an advantage or is there a best practices where I can I should actually stay uh, set up multiple fulfillment centers mm -hmm. so that. Uh, if I fulfill from US, mm -hmm. it will come out of the US fulfillment. Mm -hmm. And if so, how do I actually integrate that into the website with regards to stock control? Our system is actually, uh, even even you using the different fulfillment center, you can use our one system to manage your different inventory in the different warehouses. So in the our system, you, you can see which how many inventory do you have in our China warehouse and how many you have in our, like let's say US warehouse. You can just see them very clearly. And if you want to shipping products, and our system will uh, will very intelligent to recommend you to ship your products from from a near near nearest warehouse. This is OMS system. It's only for the sellers, not for the buyers. So your buyer can okay. can see the details of your system. They can only only see the tracking number. Because I have like three factories trying to build one product, and they mm -hmm. have to carry like screws from one factory to another. Mm -hmm. They have mm -hmm. to deliver imagine screws or strings from one factory to another because one's in charge of the plastics, another one is in charge of the metals. So I have to be delivering the, uh -huh. the goods from one factory to another in order to be able to assemble the final product uh -huh. made by two or three factories. Okay, in your, uh, for your questions, actually our warehouse can help you. You can just send your, your accessory from the different suppliers to our warehouse and you, go, you just tell us your request and then we will, we will follow your request to help you to put them together into one package or one product. That's what we, we can help you to do that. Yes, uh, I would ask about shipping from Lebanon and uh, uh, do you have limits for the quantity for the shipping items? No, we don't set any MOQ on our orders. So even if you have just the one product that is 10 grams, that's okay. We can help you to ship them. Uh, on your website, you can see that you've got 30 days free warehousing. Yes, and correct. And with, with large numbers, normally we have three to four months supply. What, mm -hmm. what is the charges on warehousing after that initial 30 days? Yeah, it's $1.25 per QP meter a day. We can decrease your warehousing fee only if you have the higher turnover rate. Like in one month, you send in like 100 infantry in our warehouse and you just sell it out within a month. Maybe we can just provide you the free warehousing fee.